Hi guys, today we will learn the basics of the OpenGL program. What are the basics we need to use for the OpenGL routines, subroutines and how to write the program for the OpenGL. The base code in, uh, is from the previous tutorial. In this tutorial we will study about the basic function and components in OpenGL program for the graphics. The base code you can download from the given link. Uh, for how to execute the program and how to set the environment for OpenGL program in Visual Studio you can watch the previous video the link is given below in this one we will study the basics of the function here we are having the base code written for the OpenGL now we will study the functions one by one and their utilities this is the OpenGL program when we are writing the OpenGL program in the Visual Studio for Windows programming, mostly you will find these three header files Windows.l, GL.h, and GLU.h. But all these three files, if you are using GLUT file, then there is no need for these three files. We can replace all these three files with this GLUT file. GLUT stands for the OpenGL Utility Toolkit. If you will see in the program, we are using only glut.h no need to use windows.h or gl.h or glu.h we can replace it directly the next uh, in opengl program sometimes we are using the standard input output header file standard library and method.h and other header files maybe we can use but they are not related to the opengl they are related to the c++ programming we can use these header files also as per our requirement of the program. Next is display window management using GLUT. We need to initialize the GLUT to manage the window uh, Windows programming. When we are writing the program in Windows, we need to initialize the GLUT. This is the function GLUT init an argument chain and argument v this is the function it will initialize the glut function it is called inside the main program and this is the first function which is called inside the main function this one the next function we are calling it title bar we want to create the window where we want to display our image for that purpose we are calling the function glut create window this function will create the window for us with this given title which is inside the inverted commas we can write any name for the title of our window next uh, what we want to display on the our display window uh, for that purpose to call what do you want to display on the screen we are calling the glut display function this is the opengl function glut display function but this function line segment this is the user defined function we are writing our images and we are drawing our images inside the line segment function if you will see we are calling this function glut display function line segment where is this line segment line segment is user defined function for our project we are drawing one line only and this is our line function line segment function we will discuss this function also but not yet later the next function we have created the window we did everything but until now we have not displayed anything because we need to complete the windows processing operation for this purpose we need to call glut main loop until we are not calling this function we cannot display anything on the screen and this function is always called at the last in the main program if you will see this is called glut main loop this function is called at the last it will initialize it will set everything and you will get the image on the screen the output for this function is when we will do we will get this display window for us 
with the title and example on Opal Gel. This is our image. Other than this function, we are having some other function which is called as glut init window position. Window position will decide where to display your image on the screen. That is 50. Its meaning is that 50 pixels on the horizontal direction and 100 pixels on the vertical direction. Next, glut init window size. This is 400 and 300. This is the size of our window. This is 400 pixel on the x direction or horizontal direction and 300 pixel on the vertical direction. This is the size of our window. This is 400 pixel on the horizontal direction and 300 pixel on the vertical direction. Next, other than this function, if you will see, we are having so many functions. The second one is called as glut in a display mode or glut single glut RGB. What is this? Actually, when we are displaying the window, we are having so many options such as choice for the buffering, color mode, what color mode you want to display. For that purpose, we are using glut in a display mode. Buffering meaning how many buffers you want. That is glut single, glut RGB. That is simplest color model we are calling RGB and buffer we are calling single buffer. That is one buffer for the red color, one buffer for the green color and one buffer for the blue color in the graphics processor. This is glut single. We can call the uh, double, triple also, uh, but it, it will increase the combinations of the color. The basics you can also study for how, what is the single buffer, two buffer, four buffer, eight buffer for the RGB. We can we can also study. You can also study for that. It will increase the number of colors only. RGB stands for the red, green, and blue. For the uh, soft copy display devices, we are using only RGB. We are not using CMY. CMY we are using for the hard copy display devices. Uh, we are having other functions. GL clear color. This is called as background color. If you want to display the background color, what is the color of our background? We will decide by GL clear color. This is R. This is G. This is B. RGB. If you are having 111, then the background will be white. If you are having all these three point uh, three colors 000, it will be black. And the last value is called as alpha value. Alpha value, uh, when we are calling this alpha value, it is actually called as blending parameter. Alpha is called as blending parameter. Suppose that if you are having two objects they are overlapping to each other then which one should be displayed on the screen it is decided by the alpha parameter when we are using 00, zero it meaning is that we are having no object that is transparent object the object will be display only if you are having 1.0 its meaning is that we are having the overlapping object or opaque object we will discuss later this function but still we are discussing only the single object these are the function glut display mode glut single glut rgb this is glut init window position glut init window size and this is the gl clear color you can call this function inside the main function also no need for the white my initialization this is just to make them separate otherwise no need you can call this function directly to the main function there is no problem if you want to change the size window position you can change from here suppose that we are giving the window position 100 100 pixel and the size of the window we want to give 600 and 500 debug the program if you will see now the position is changed 
it is 100 pixel on horizontal direction and 100 pixel on the vertical direction if you want to change the background color how can we change this is suppose that we want to give it only red color then you can replace 0 0.0 0, 0.0 again debug you will get the red background this is the red background of the window so we can change the well, uh, color background color from here other functions we will discuss this one gl clear color this function actually this decided this decided which color will be displayed but it will not display until and unless we are not calling the gl color buffer bit gl color buffer bit its meaning is that this is the buffer is activated for the color from the graphics processor this one this is the color for the image now the buffer is started we are having so many other options the, about the object color the object color is written by gl color 3f rgb this is rgb here this suffix 3f stands for that we are using rgb model 3 stands for the RGB model and F stands for the floating point values. The color values for the simple RGB color model we will use from the range 0.0, .0 to 1.0. This is the GL matrix mode projection. Uh, in the graphics when you are uh, making some image it is actually we are projecting the image to the screen so if we are need to call gl matrix mode gl projection and what is the projection window this is also called as word coordinate what portion of the image you want to display on the screen we need to call glu ortho 2d this is for the two dimension this is x minimum x maximum y minimum y maximum its meaning is that from 0, 0.0 to 200 pixel 0, 0.0 in the vertical direction up to 150 pixel other than this portion if you are having the image outside this is this portion it will not be displayed on the screen so we should be take care about this thing that image should be inside these pixels only otherwise some portion will not be displayed on the screen finally we are calling our function that is user defined function open gl routine to create our line segment this is our object we want to create the line segment for this purpose we are having so many subroutines and routines in open gl for the line function we are having gl begin gl lines this is the function to draw the line we need to define the gl vertex 2i i stand for the integer because line will start from the pixel value and it should not it should be integer value this is the starting point x1 y1 this is the end point x2 y2 when your image is finished we need to write gln so that we need to inform the compiler that our image is finished and it now redraw the image if you will see in the base code actually in OpenGL most of the program is near about similar the base code it is having three pieces or three functions we are grouped the OpenGL program in the three functions first one is initialization and related one time parameter setting in function in it that is initialization if any function it is written with in it its meaning is that it comes under the initialization and one time parameters second one is geometric function or geometric description which is the image which we want to display what is the geometry we want to display for our, our image that is called as geometric description it is for our base code this is line segment 
and we are having the third one the main function which is including the glut function so we are having the three pieces of the information initialization geometric description and main function you will see this is called as initialization function for us this is user defined function what we want to display here we are using gl line width this is the width of the line you can change the width of the line we need to call the gl flush when you finish your user defined function we need to call the gl flush to free up the memory this is the main function in this one we are calling glut function initialization function so this is all about the basics of the OpenGL program header file initialization function this is user defined function and this is the main function if you will see less or more the codes are near about same only what is the difference the difference will be in this section that is user defined function what image you want to display but be careful when you are projecting the window the window or the 2d should be so in should be set in such a way that your image should come inside these pixels otherwise it will not display on the screen some portion will you will miss if you want any help and any suggestion you can write the comment i will revert back to you thank you for the watching the video please subscribe the channel for more videos like this we are having the complete open gl programming series for the beginners thank you once again for watching the channel